Welcome to this How Do I video for Microsoft Dynamics and AV. My name is Vincent and in this video you will see how easy it is to log Office 365 email in Microsoft Dynamics and AV 2017. So at the end you will understand how to set up your NAV application for Office 365 email logging. We will set up and use email logging in only five steps. First of all, we will need Office 365. In NAV, we will map our salesperson, we will use the assisted setup to link NAV with Office 365, we will check the job queue, and finally we will send and log emails. Now let's get started with the first step. In Office 365, we need to set up a user and email account for our salesperson, Peter Sato. So as an administrator, you need to add a user with an email address for Peter Sato. So at the end, you will have an active user with an email address in your Office 365 admin center. In our second step, we need to add the Office 365 email account for our salesperson, Peter Sato. So let's go to salespersons. And let's change Peter Shadow with the email address that we just created in Office 365. In our third step, we will use the assisted setup to guide us easily through the process of linking Office 365 with email logging in Dynamics NAV. The setup will guide us through a few steps. So in NAV, you can look for assisted setup and then open it up. Pick out setup email logging, click on next, and here you can add the email address of your administrative account in Office 365. Then add uh, the password, click on next, and the system will now work on the setup. A public mailbox and public folders for queue and storage will be created if you click next. You can then decide if you want to track and log both incoming and outgoing email. You can then complete the process by clicking on finish. You can now see that the process of the setup of email logging in your assisted setup is completed. Check your Exchange Admin Center for the public mailbox folder, the email logging, queue and storage subfolders. As a last configuration step, we need to check the job queue entries. So in NAV, look for the job queue entries, open them up, go to the email logging context adapter, click for edit, make sure that the number of minutes between runs is set to one, for instance, so that you can check results of the logging quite quickly. And then you just need to start uh, the queue. We close it and then you can also see here uh, at the side that this job queue is scheduled and started and there is only one minute between the runs. Now that our configuration is done and our job queue is started, Microsoft Dynamics NAV is ready to log your emails. It will automatically log incoming and outgoing emails if we configured it to track both. It will only track and log emails from contacts in the NAV database. And the emails are stored as interactions for the contacts. Now in this demonstration, Peter Sato will receive emails from prospecting contacts. In his Office 365 account, Peter Sato has received two emails from contacts. Both these contacts do exist in the NAV as contacts with the email addresses that are used here. So let's check if we can find these emails sent to Peter Sato in NAV. So when I open NAV, I need to go to the contacts. And there what I can do is I can look, for instance, for Vincent. And then I can go to navigate, interaction log entries. And here you will see that for Vincent, one email uh, was tracked. For in the same way, I can also check, for instance, for Steven. So let me check for Steven Renders. Go to Navigate, Interaction Log Entries, 
and here you can also see that an email was tracked for Steven Renders. If you know, if you want to read the email and see the content of the email, you can just open it by clicking on Show Attachments. And as you will see, the mailbox of Peter Sato will open up now, and Peter can just check his email right from NAV, his Office 365 email, right from Dynamics NAV. So in this video, I demonstrated how to set up and use Office 365 email logging in five simple steps. In the first step, we created our Office 365 email account for our salesperson. In the second step, we added that Office 365 email address on the salesperson card. We used the assisted setup in the third step. Then we checked and started the job queue. And finally, we were ready to log emails. For more information and resources, do check the Get Ready page on PartnerSource and the Microsoft Dynamics Learning Portal. This video was created in collaboration with Microsoft and Plata. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.